I gonna introduce you like VFX director Doug sure. Stempleton. <laughs> yes, Doug <laughs> Stempleton. <laughs> Don't forget it. Doug okay. Appleton. Okay, yeah. Like a ton of apples. Please tell us, tell that guys about the, your job on Black Panther. About my job on Black Panther. So on Black Panther, our job uh, early on was to develop the technology of Wakanda and what, what kind of technology do they use? How would a, a civilization that evolved away from everything that we know, how would their technology evolve? You know, would their holograms be light-based or would they be something else? And so our job was to figure out a way to make them uh, a significantly advanced civilization that is different than anything we've seen before. Well, Artem has been here for a while and this car is the most exciting thing he's ever seen here. Um, so this car, if you remember from Black Panther, um, we were developing the sand technology from the hologram table, which isn't a hologram table, it was sort of this vibranium sand table. And to really get the look and feel of the cars and everything, the technology that's on there, we spray painted a bunch of these toy cars with uh, glue. I guess not spray painted, but we glued them and then put sand on them. So we have a few different scale ones. Yeah, there you go. As we were looking at the scale of the table, do we want something bigger, do we want something smaller? Uh, so we made a lot of different tests with these. All right, so the, the iPad thing, part of this sand table that we were developing, um, we knew through development of this that we needed some sort of uh, more familiar uh, light-based technology on this, because it's really hard, we did a bunch of tests of just numbers and sand and what does that look like and things start to get hard to read. So we wanted to augment all that information with light. Uh, so we did a test where we took one of these cars, uh, maybe it was this one, and uh, we made a quick little animation that we played on loop on an iPad. Uh, then we put sand over the iPad, put the car on the sand and played that back so we could see how light looks as it's illuminating underneath sand. So when we're creating our stuff for the, for the film, we have some realistic reference to go by. 